Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our channel. I'm Mr. Peck here, going once again with you to discuss the questions on momentum and impulse. Let us read the questions together. A ball of mass 250 gram moving horizontally at 30 meter per second strikes a vertical wall and rebounds horizontally at 20 meter per second. Okay? Calculate the impulse of the resultant force on the ball during its collision with the wall. Okay, so uh, let us first identify what information given. Okay, it has a mass. So this is uh, actually the mass. And moving at uh, 30 meters per second, so this is the initial velocity. Uh, strikes a wall and rebound. Uh, I mean, it's change direction. Okay, uh, at 20 meter per second. So this is the final velocity. Alright? So find the impulse that with the symbol J uh, of the resultant force during the collision. Okay, so actually I have uh, uh, illustrated this uh, I've illustrated the situation in the diagram. So it's a ball. I convert the gram into kilogram. 0 0.25 kilogram. Initial velocity 30. Uh, and see after strike the wall, the ball rebound. Uh, rebound means it goes to the opposite direction. Remember, when it goes to the opposite direction, we need to put a negative sign. Uh, many students forget about this negative sign. So when it goes to the opposite direction, rebound, we must put, put a negative sign okay, for the final velocity. So calculate the uh, impulse. Calculate the impulse of the resultant force. So what is actually impulse? Impulse is the change of momentum, okay, or delta P. Uh, so, uh, change of momentum is P final minus P initial, okay? P final minus P initial. So, let us continue uh, with these questions. So, P final is MV, uh, P initial is MU, okay? We can factorize out the mass, MV minus U. Uh, then we just substitute the information. We already have the mass uh, 0 0.25 and then the final velocity negative 20 minus the initial velocity 30. And what do we get? We got negative 12.5 kilogram meter per second. Or you can also put the unit as Newton second. Yeah? Impulse has two units. Either uh, this kilogram meter per second or Newton second. Okay, so uh, here if you notice, he has a, the impulse has a negative sign. What does it mean by this negative sign? A negative sign means the impulse is directed to the left. Uh, the impulse is directed to the left uh, because the, uh, it is actually the wall push the ball. Is the wall push the ball? The wall push the ball to the left. The wall push the ball. Wall on ball. Okay. So we um you must write the direction. Uh, two two words. Left. All right. Okay. Now the following questions. Find the average force. Okay. Uh, find the average force. The wall exerts on the ball during its collision if the time of impact or time of contact is 0 0.02 second. Okay, so here he asks for the force. Uh, actually, this is called the impulsive force. This is the impulsive force. And the time of contact is the T, time given, 0 0.02 second. So to find the impulsive force, uh, B, so impulsive force is actually the rate of change of momentum. Uh, rate of change of momentum or dp over dt. Okay, so dp is the change of momentum. So change of momentum is actually the, uh, this delta p is the change of momentum or it's called the impulse. Okay, impulse. So dt is the time taken. So when t multiplied above, we have impulse equal to ft. Uh, okay. So, we already got the impulse just now, negative 12.5. So, we just uh, substitute inside yeah, the information. 
So we have a negative 12.5, um, sorry, uh, F, uh, the time taken is uh, 0.02 seconds. So just substitute the 0 0.02. Uh, and then we will have our impulsive force, okay? Uh, which is negative 6.25 Newton. Huh. If you notice, here once again we have a negative sign for the impulsive force. Why? Because it, this is the force uh, of wall pushing the ball. Yeah, towards left. Uh, negative means direction to the left. Uh, you see? The force, uh, if you look at here, uh, the force also uh, follow the impulse. Okay? The force of wall on the ball. Yeah? Uh, actually, it's the wall push the ball to the left. Uh, that's why the ball change direction to the left. It rebound. Okay? Uh, so, both of these have a negative sign have a negative sign actually the un the final answer should have a negative here didn't give negative uh it's better you put a negative sign because it's towards left the impulse on the ball and the force on the ball all to the left okay causing it to rebound to the left yeah so negative means to the left okay uh, so that's the answer uh, for this question. So, hope you enjoy and uh, stay tuned for more come upcoming videos. Thank you.